note-taking apps have seen somewhat of a resurgence recently, with the likes of Notion and Roam Research making waves in the market, and mainstays like Evernote and Microsoft's own OneNote continually improving their products by adding new features. One feature that sets OneNote apart from its competitors is its ability to integrate with the Dynamics 365 apps in the Power Platform. In this video we'll take a look at how we can set it up and how the integration works. A prerequisite for OneNote integration is first setting up SharePoint integration. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and click the link in the corner and work through that video before continuing here. Like SharePoint integration, setting up OneNote integration is really easy. Start by navigating to the Power Platform Admin Center and selecting the environment you want to enable the integration in. Then select Settings, Integration, Document Management Settings and then click OneNote Integration. You're then presented with a dialog to select the entities that you want to enable OneNote integration for. Only the entities that you've already enabled for document management can be selected, so if the entity you need is missing, go back and run through the document management settings wizard again. Once you've selected the required entities, click finish and you're done. So let's navigate over to one of our Dynamics 365 apps. I'm going to head into the sales hub and take a look at an account. So you're probably used to working with notes already in an entity's records timeline, and this functionality remains, but if you want to take advantage of OneNote's advanced note-taking capabilities, click the plus button on the timeline and select OneNote. The first time you do this, a new OneNote notebook will be created and stored in the SharePoint document repository linked to the record, and then the notebook will be opened in OneNote Online in the browser. Now anyone who opens the OneNote notebook from this record will be opening the same OneNote notebook and can review any notes you have taken as well as add their own notes. Of course you can open this notebook not only in the browser but in any of the OneNote apps available on most devices and all of your updates will be synchronized back to the notebook accessible from your record in Dynamics 365. Now I love OneNote and use it pretty much every day. When connected and working in a shared notebook like this Updates are visible in near real time, making collaborating amazingly effective. One of the things I use OneNote for is to record notes from meetings or workshops I might be running. To do this, I create a new page in my notebook, click on Insert and select Meeting Details. This is going to show me a list of the meetings in my Outlook calendar, so if I find the one that I want and click on it, it will automatically add the name of the meeting into the title of the note, as well as add the time, date, who's invited and the description of the meeting. What I like to do is expand the attendees and turn this into a checklist. That way I can check off who attended the meeting and who wasn't able to make it. You'll see at the bottom is a space for me to start adding my notes and if anyone else is in the meeting and has access to this notebook, they'll be able to see my notes as I make them as well as add their own notes to the same page. Now anyone that needs access to these notes can access them directly from the record in Dynamics rather than having to hunt through various disconnected SharePoint sites, folders or relying on users to share the notebooks manually. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all my upcoming videos.